Hey Sabre Freaks, this is an update for the Savage Beast run. Um, <clears throat> I've got to stop saying them. Um, right. This is my artist proof, and this is the prototype and variations in them, obviously. I'll just quickly run through that now. Obviously, the claw. This was only ever designed as a uh, so not a stopgap, but to give me an idea of where I wanted to go with the hilt when I was designing this sabre. Um, I was never going to use red thumb screws, and I was never going to use Allen bolts, grub screws, whatever you want to call them. Um, that part there is probably about the only part that's similar to my new design. Also, this was made up of using MHS parts. Um, this is a choke section which was actually spun round and I had to have the other end of it machined and then had a separate blade emitter put on. So there's that part, then that part. So this was actually in two parts. Whereas now this is all one piece and it's been machined as a one-off in the UK. <clears throat> the um, the other thing is, is this is my artist proof version of it. I have, all of them have got the copper in place of where that red thumb screw would go. That's stainless steel, that's stainless steel, and that's stainless steel. And I have brass blocks on mine. And the people on the run had the option of having brass blocks or aluminium blocks. I think something like 60 40, 60% 60 went with brass blocks in the end, and the other 40% of the people on the run went um, with aluminium. Or well, they just didn't reply, so they're getting the aluminium ones. Um, but you obviously, you can see the difference in the claw and the D ring holder is way more accurate. And looks like the one in the TV series, whereas I just used the to get a sense of where I was going with it. I used a cobalt from the custom sabre shop. Things the other things that I've done on it as well is that these aren't supposed to dangle and hang down loose, basically. No, they're not they're not meant to do that when you hold them the sabre like that, they're not meant to do that. That's what they're meant to do. Because in the TV series, this is all one piece, but in the real world, machining this and having the drop down in there and this cone shape in aluminium can be done, but it would have been really weak because aluminium at that thickness, hanging on a belt or even just dropping it, it will just bend it and then you're never going to straighten it back out again. So this is the sensible option to go with which is putting in a D-ring. The, the thing that I did with these, if any of you have seen my Instagram um, video on it, this is a real trick D-ring holder that I had made on it. And basically underneath these arms to keep this straight, to stop it from moving, I haven't glued them in place like some people may have thought I may have done, but no, that's not me. Underneath these arms, there's two threaded slots with 440 grub screws underneath, which you tighten from the underside of this and it holds this in place. It will, if you yank on it, it will move and then you can push it back again. Like, it is really tight. I'm having to put a lot of force into moving that. But basically it gives you that screen accurate look when you're swinging the saber around and you're holding it upside down or inverted or whatever and it's not gonna move. And you've got the added bonus it's not going to rattle and get on your nerves because I hate D-rings. I hate the rattling noise that comes along with having a D-ring on a sabre. And it's probably one of the main reasons why I've never bothered buying a Graflex for myself because I just can't put up with a rattling on them. And having two of them rattling at the same time, that would really do your head in. <laughs> so anyway, there, there's your update, guys, on where we're at with it. Um, obviously, I've got the grips sorted on it these are on the original one they were t grips and they're like really big and hefty and they just are oh, they're so uncomfortable to hold whereas with this i've got 
3D printed grips which are about 3mm shorter in height, they're slimmer as well and they're way more comfortable to hold. Um, the other thing that I've got is hidden power switches on this. Um, I think Watto, his power switches are up here or something on his one, but I'm not doing that. In, in the TV series, when Savage activates the saber, he's always holding it in the middle. So mine has got, I'm going to find the right side, just here. That is actually a flex button. It's actually, you're able to flex it and on the underside of it, I'll show you. This is the prototype. There's actually been a little bit of modification done to the actual um, run version. You see that little plunger there? And there's a piece of... Um, just here it's lifted and basically that flexes and that will touch the tactiles inside the grip section but my run ones will also have a separate plunger in the center so the my thinking on this is in the, in the series at one point or a couple of points he activates the saber with just one blade so you'll have an activation at either end of it so you can activate the blade separately and just use with one blade but if you press in the center there'll be a second activation switch for both of them and it'll activate both blades and they'll both come on at the same time so these are the little things and this, this little bit of extra effort that i always put into doing my with my sabers when i do runs i always try to make them a little bit special Give people something that they wouldn't normally get with run-of-the-mill sabers, like sabers that you'll get on lots of big runs where they're churning out big amounts. Because I only stick to a small run with small numbers on the runs, you get things that you just ordinarily wouldn't get on other runs, like, for instance, the option of brass blocks, having stainless steel parts in it, having copper sections fitted to them. Anyone that's on, that got my JSKs, on the few JSKs I did, they know what I'm talking about when I say I put little little bits of um, special effort into building my uh, sabers. So um, there you have it, guys. The there's the artist proof finally put together with all the parts.